Welcome to Airlines 101 with Laura. Today, grab a pencil and a paper and start following along because we're going to count down what I consider the top 10 most obscure METAR abbreviations. Can you get all 10? I bet you can't. So stick around after the countdown and we're going to go over them together so you can learn something new. Well, how'd you do? If you were a little bit puzzled by Ra's knot, don't worry, stick around and we'll help you out. So let's count them down together and see how many you got right. This one means dissipating. Often we see it when a thunderstorm is starting to dissipate and they will report it as dissipating. How about this one? Alto cumulus standing lenticular clouds. And why do we care as flight crew we want to avoid areas that are turbulent. We don't want to get passengers hurt. And so these clouds are indicative of turbulence. And so often they are reported in METARs when they occur. How about that one? Did you get cumulonimbus mammatus? Again, indications of strong turbulence. We want to stay away from these in the area of thunderstorms. How about these two? tend to see these often in hurricane season, especially the bottom one, pressure falling rapidly. So either pressure rising rapidly or pressure falling rapidly, and that's how they're gonna report that. How about this one? You probably know the BKN014 means broken clouds at 1,400 feet above ground level, but what about the rest of that? Well, that means that it's also variable overcast. So some of the area is broken and some of the area is overcast. And as a reminder, either of these constitutes a ceiling. How about this one? I live in Texas, so I don't think I've ever seen this on a METAR. Snow increasing rapidly. And often they will also report how many inches it has snowed in the past hour and then have a slash and then show how many inches are on the ground already at that point. How about this one? It doesn't mean funnel cloud, it means apparent, but sometimes you will see this linked with a funnel cloud. If the observer is not sure if that was really a funnel cloud, they will say apparent funnel cloud to the southeast or whatever direction that they see it from. So that would be coded as A-P-R-N-T space FC, FC for a funnel cloud. How about this one? I tend to see this frequently and the weather map might give you a clue. It means that there is frontal passage. So the wind shifted probably as part of that. The temperature likely changed. The pressure changed likely. And all these things are signs that a front has passed. So we're gonna see that coded as FROPA. How about this one? This one's pretty rare to see, but the picture again may give you a little bit of a hint. It means that there are small breaks in the overcast. So there are overcast clouds. We do have a ceiling, but the observer was seeing little breaks and little bits of blue peeking through. Okay, we're getting into the really obscure. Chino is not pants. This means typically used in Alaska it is sky condition at a secondary location, not available. Now, Chino is not the only one you might see. More commonly, you might see something like our, and I'll draw on the slide quick for this one, R-V-R-N-O or P-W-I-N-O. So anything that ends in N-O like this, RVRNO would mean that the RVR sensor is not available. PWINO is the precipitation discriminator is not available, so it can't tell if it's rain or snow or sleet. And this one just means that the secondary location that they ordinarily are going to record 
a, a uh, sky condition report is not available. All right, the last one that probably you did not know. I am not sure if this story is true, but I have seen from multiple reports on the internet this little story. Apparently, a METAR at Gallup, New Mexico had the only text was Rosnot. And it meant when the person who uh, saw this called up the weather observer in Gallup, New Mexico and asked, what is Rosnot? Because nobody knew what it meant. They said it meant rattlesnake was on the step. No observation taken. So I hope you enjoyed challenging your knowledge of METARs with my top 10 most obscure METAR observations. I have never seen Rosnot. Hope I never do. I don't really care for snakes. But if you like what you've seen, click the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, get more information about aviation, especially geared toward airline operations, meteorology, and other video tours that I like to take around the country. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.